Right now everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the video, hope you are all well. If you could just do us a quick favour and subscribe to the channel, um, if you're not already, because that means the absolute world to us. And like the videos if you do enjoy them. I have just finished editing the video that is going to go out today, and it is already scheduled for 10 o'clock today so in four minutes time that is going to go up in four minutes time kate is going to start her yoga um so i'm going to get out of her way while she does that and go and sort the kitchen out do some dishes we have had a little delivery this morning nothing major but something katie really wanted so i will go and show you guys that quickly i'll just get everything ready for in the kitchen get the stand and my coffee, obviously waiting until half 11 to eat, which is quite tough. If you have ever intermittent fasted before, it's awful the night after, uh, the morning after a like, big meal, especially if you've not stuck within your hours because you're just normally absolutely starving. But Katie got some more bunny tails to go in there because they did look, it did look a little bit anemic because there wasn't many in. So we had to get some more to fill it out a bit. And yeah, apart from that, I'm gonna get on with some dishes. Um, I think the biggest pain for me this morning is gonna be making Katie a bacon. And are you wanting egg or? No, I just. You have still it. don't want egg. You just want bacon. I'm gonna make Katie a bacon sarnie this morning um, for her finishing yoga. Um, or maybe it's just after yoga. I mean, she doesn't want to literally finish doing whatever little pose like that, and then up oh, bacon sarnie. So. I'm going to do these dishes. There's not many like six we ate out last night, so I'm not too bothered. My mum and sister, I think, me, I know my mum definitely is. My sister might be coming up. Um, but today, I'm going to eat very healthy um, and try and keep it quite a few calories for tonight at my auntie's because she has made an absolutely amazing cheesecake. I am actually going to take the camera along with us as well. I might not be talking as much, um, but I am going to take the camera to show you as what she's made, she's made an unbelievable, was it Nutella and Biscoff cheesecake, Katie, oh one of oh my god, and it looked absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, I do want to try and show you all that good stuff, and probably have a few drinks, like I say, I'm going to take my bit of Disserano along, that I've like the tiniest bit I've got left, and I've literally got the tiniest bit of Hennessy left, which is right in the middle, King is right in the middle of there, so I'm going to take them along tonight and hopefully someone's got some Baileys, I don't actually think that, that was in there, but they, oh, unreal, but yeah, anyways, enough waffling, I'm going to get on with the dishes, get on with Katie's bacon, and I will catch you guys in a second. <laughs> just done Katie's being sandwich and done the dishes but they literally just do not stop guys that's one thing when you move into a house you know as dishes just don't stop coming boom I mean that to be honest my bad that's from work yesterday they've been from work yesterday that just needs a clean the tea sort of where the tea bags go and then yeah so yeah I'm gonna just leave them for now I'm not really too fussed I'll let them dry off a bit Put them, dry them off the rest later. And yeah, I've just took the rubbish out, cleaned the benches down, looking nice and tidy, just for now, anyway. And our little flowers are blooming. When we first moved in, these were one of the first things that we put in the kitchen, just get them from behind there. They were one of the first things that we got in the kitchen. So yeah, it's quite nice that they are now coming through. That was something that we bought yesterday. Um, but yeah, everyone, and again, it seems like everyone's testing positive for COVID. Katie's mum and dad have tested positive now. Katie's sister's tested positive. Um, the lad I work with at work, his mum and dad have tested positive. So yeah, it's all a bit 
kicking off at the minute, so hopefully them new marches just around the corner and them new restrictions come in play quickly as I am now waiting until half eleven. It's I think it's only like twenty-five to. I've still got like an hour. That's just not gonna focus, but it's ten thirty four. So yeah, Katie's bacon sandwich, how was this? Very nice. Very nice, made with a hundred percent love. But no, that's mine from yesterday oh, at right. work. I Yours is still in there. Will you be having that or not? You're gonna have it. If you I want. might have that this morning. Yeah. I might have. So that. I was gonna have it this morning, but you have to bake it sandwich. Yeah. So. I offered that last night as well, so it's all ready. Oh, what did you think of the video? Was it all right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. But yeah, I think today is gonna be just getting a few bits tidy. As tidy as we can before we go to my aunties anyway, and then tomorrow I think we'll probably properly clean the kitchen, like sweep the floor once like the clothes horse has moved, and really have a good tidy of the kitchen tomorrow. Probably do the bathroom as well. Just probably have a bit of a tidy day tomorrow, won't we? Because we've not actually done that in. Normally you just sort of potter on well, when you can and. Do bits during the week, but now that you're gonna go, Kay's obviously gonna have to go back to the office three days a week. Um. So yeah, we're gonna have to try and think of something. Maybe it's on one of the days where you are working from home, we just try and get something done. Try and get quite a bit of cleaning done. Cause like I say, I, my advice would be if you are working from home to try and do that. Obviously. If, like, in our case where I go to work every day and Katie goes to work every day, but obviously she can work from home, she'll be working from home, it is sometimes might feel a bit unfair on on the other the person that has to do the actual cleaning. But like I say, I come in, do the dishes pretty much well, every night, really, isn't it? And yeah, I'll, and I'll I, try to do the cooking, don't I? Yeah, Katie does the cooking, or, but it's just about trying to share it as much as... and. Oh, guys, just waiting for food. But yeah, I will catch you. I'm trying to think when I will. Probably when I'm getting some food. Right, and so it's finally food time. My mum and sister are on their way up, so I'm going to have some protein wheat bix It's basically going to be similar to the actual thing, but I'm going to have some breakfast topper on. I'm going to put some protein in. And we're going to have some fat free yogurt. Um, yeah, excited to try that stuff. Like I say, I'm gonna put some protein on all. Hmm, I'm thinking about having a protein like smoothie. Hmm, oh, decisions, decisions. Put some protein on and probably have a smoothie in a bit anyway. So, let's get into that. So yeah, we're gonna have bish, bash, bosh. Piggy's back up when it's while my hair from the product. I will wash it later, but dinner is, well, first meal of the day anyway. Two protein Weetabix things, some 0% fat yogurt with salt caramel protein. Then we've got the breakfast topper on top and some caramel drizzle. Also, I think, to be honest, the good thing with that of the, the TikTok was the drizzles and stuff really beat out the protein -y taste and um, yeah my sister has just texted me to say put the kettle on so we will not do that because they are not welcome at this house especially her so yeah no, I'm just joking but I'm gonna eat this and then my mum and sister will be here so I will pick you back up when they're gone everyone my mum and dad have gone Hannah. mum and Hannah have gone my dad yeah has gone but uh, yeah we've made some Pizza wraps today for dinner. That one's mine. Less cheese. I did not realize 100 grams of that cheese was like 416 calories. I was like, what? So I only made. I made sure I didn't have 100 grams because obviously we're off out a night to my auntie Lindsay's. And yeah, I just I'm pretty excited for that. Like she's made some, like I said before, some cheesecake that I can't wait to try. I have got a question that I'm going to go in in depth to in this video and well me and Katie are probably going to go on depth because it's probably going to be like a joint effort and then that will probably be the main talking point in the video and um, my hair has got so much product on it look at how stiff it is oh wow 
Wow. <laughs> but yeah, we've just been watching the Everton Aston Villa game. Katie obviously buzzing that Villa has scored, totally deserved as well. It's been a good game to watch. Um, Everton haven't really created anything, but yeah, we're gonna have dinner. Then I'll probably answer that question. I'm gonna play a bit football manager while I'm having me dinner and watching the football. And then I'll answer that question probably just before we get ready. This vlog might actually be quite long, so I'll answer that question. I'm hoping to sort of that will take a while because I'd like to get as much as I can in. But it might be the sort of question that I always, I like come back. I'm so sorry, but my hair is just distracting us too much. But yeah, it's the sort of question that I might come back to as well, like in days time if I think of anything else. Um, but yeah, obviously I'll pop that on the screen when I'm answering it or read it out and I will catch you in a sec. Right everyone, it is obviously late now. It's 10 to 12. Um, sorry I didn't show you anything at my auntie's. I just really wasn't like, I took the camera, but I just wasn't like, I was like, oh, just enjoy the night. I'm just gonna almost have a night off, but like I knew I was gonna come back and answer some of these questions. And um, so we'll jump straight in with the first one was, someone asked what size of paint we got for the stairs. It was literally 250 mil, like a tiny one. That was the range that we got. See if this focuses is up. And there we go. Um, so yeah, 250 mil, like we've got a little bit left. It's the lazy range, furniture paint, French chic. But yeah, um, and then the, the actual colour class is Loof. Just get that to focus back up. And then someone asked like, the question that I might need some, some, if you can think of anything as well here, Katie, she's just upstairs, by the way, if that's, you wonder why I was like, uh, shouting. So someone asked, I've just bought a Kilkenny house this week. It will be built by June this year. Any advice and ideas and heads up you can give me i love your new home i'm so nervous about this it's my first new home i really like the show home anything you would tell me you wish you knew before you moved in and the choices you can pay for etc i can't quite remember the ch the choices like the extras so i couldn't um, help you on that is there anything you can think of that we you wish that we'd got like, it's, cause like we we thought a fence, but the price you pay no, is too much fence. for the fence. So I wouldn't. Um, but in terms of extras, I. Well, we got the power of the garage. Make extra sockets. Make sure you've got enough sockets in places. Because we did that. We yeah, we got we an extra one in the bedroom. No, we didn't. We didn't. No, we. Was it just under the no, stairs? It was under the stairs. That's was that the only one we got? Yeah, but because when we went round, we counted them and also where noticed where they were. Yeah. Um, and then we decided that that was all right for us and the layout we wanted. Yeah. To just make sure, sure that, that yeah. You make sure the sockets are where you want them and that there's enough. To move them. Yeah, you have to pay to move them. So definitely sockets. Um, like I say, if you want any extras sockets, I would definitely yeah, make sure you get them in. We got the shower. Um, obviously that that was a big cost. But yeah. It was worth the, yeah. It. If you really want a shower, get a shower. The full, um, all the tiles done. Yeah. And, shower included. and I can say now I know someone at work that didn't get the shower in when they first moved in and I think they recently just got their shower put in and he said it was just a nightmare. Ha them all. He lives with, he has a kid so they were just having baths constantly and he said that that was just a nightmare. So if you are someone that likes showers, Definitely get a shower in, I would say. The only thing that I can think off the top of my head that I think would have been nice to have gotten from the get-go, but then part of us doesn't know, would be the outdoor tap, because we didn't Yeah, do that, the so outdoor tap done. in the summer, that but can be a nightmare, because they want you to look after the grass. Uh -huh, but I, the only thing is, I don't know if it's worth paying their price, because yeah. it was like 250 Yeah, I think summer. most of the thing but is with the, the with Gleason Extras it's is it's, it, it, yeah, look at the prices they're going to charge, and look if you need, if you really need it, like price it up, price it up with someone else, Pri like definitely, don't just think, oh it's Gleason, they know what's best, they're not mm -hmm. going to rip us off, because it's not necessarily that they're going to rip you off, but no, they kind, of like, with all, with being brutally honest, they kind of are going to rip you off. I wouldn't necessarily but it is because let's be honest, two hundred and fifty pound for an outside tap is oh. a little bit of a jaw. Oh well, yeah. And I, like I say, I, I, they, some they, of they it, might think that's brutal, but, no, but it, some of it's it is true. purely down to convenience. Because, yeah. Like for example, the shower screen, like having that on as you yeah. move in. Oh yeah. And but, doing that for you, like it's just convenience, isn't yeah. it? So that's why they charge. Yeah, but I'm not. Yeah. 
I know it's still a rip off, but it's. I would just like price up what they're gonna charge and then see if someone else can do it. Like I say, a lot of people can. It's like in regards to taps and stuff, do that. Um, I do think it's handy that they have it because if someone is completely moving new area and like I know that there's a couple that watch the videos that have moved from a long way down the country up the country um, and they might not know anyone local and they might just want if you want if you're the type of person that wants everything ready for you getting in that's yeah. where it is useful that's what I mean. but I think if you sort of like for me and Katie we're just we, this is our first home and like this guy's comment it could it is probably worth just seeing if people can do things a little bit yeah. cheaper for you sorry for that little jump there. i was just recentering um what well, sorry i was just gonna say another on that part we've obviously got me dad that's quite yeah handy. but he knows yeah, a lot of people yeah. so then that's why we didn't pay for a lot of stuff because mm -hmm. we know people but in in terms of like heads up i would like there's not really any heads up because i think everyone's gonna have a different experience everyone might have different sort of well like you say a different experience but like we had the issue with our sink you might not have an issue with your sink you might have an issue with the electric work our issue with the sink wasn't too serious you might have a serious issue or you might have no issues there might be nothing wrong but just as well i think the biggest heads up would be give it time don't just come into your house and go oh there's nothing wrong now so there'll never be nothing wrong there will be, like I'll just say that now, like there will be something that will probably happen. Um, yeah. in and in terms of everything else, just don't, I think the biggest thing that me and Katie personally got wrong was come in with a plan of let's just take it room by room. The reason being is you're going to see a lot of different bits of furniture at different times that you might want straight away. I think coming in and going, oh, let's just take it room by room, I just don't think it was necessarily the, the best approach. I would definitely, I think what me and Katie have done is half the house, so like we're not necessarily bothered about the upstairs being great. I think the best way to look at it is pro just by order of priority of what you want. I think, like I say, like we put up with, well not put up with, but we had like not the best telly straight away, but it's it's like stuff like that's not the end of the world. Get your furniture in, get get it nice, get your furniture, your flooring in, and then over time, I think, I don't know as well, but it sounds like you're, you're either moving in alone or even if you're moving in with another partner, just let the house take its time to sort of be, become your home because I think... I think something I stressed out with definitely in the beginning was just I wanted everything done like now like I just like, oh, I want the garden done I want this done I want that done I want the light fitting done like it's just it's too much and if you just reel with yourself about sort of the your income and it, even just with being realistic with time like how long things can take um yeah, I think that's the biggest sort of thing. In terms of nerves, I think like I was nervous because I think you just all oh, you're nervous that stuff might just go wrong. Are you ready for it? I think that was the biggest thing I was a bit worried about was like like am I am I ready for it? But I think taking the step in actually reserving your home is like the biggest yeah, you are kind of ready for it because I remember when we first were looking and it was a bit more just like, oh, we'll look, but then we'd book a holiday. Or like, yeah, I will look, and then, oh, we'll book another holiday or something. So I think with us, like, I've, all, I've said a lot, like, the pandemic was awful, uh, but it was a blessing in terms of it fast-forwarded our lives so much because we sort of almost had to go, right, we have to kind of move out now because we can't come back now 24. I'll be 25 by the time any of our like say we never cancelled mexico going to mexico i would have been 25 and I, i'll tell you now like the last thing on my mind standing here right now is oh i wish i was going to mexico in the summer like, i'm genuinely not bothered it can wait it can wait until i do go so i think like the nerves will go honestly it's <laughs> when you get them keys you're too busy to be nervous so they will definitely go um but yeah just honestly just report any issues that you have straight away. Um, take just take, and I think just take your time. I think that for me that's the biggest thing. Take get moved in. What were you gonna say, Katie? I was gonna say because <clears throat> I know a lot of people with the pandemic have struggled to get visits. Yeah. Push for a visit because 
just if you have any extras or if you've asked them not to put things in yeah sometimes because of the number of houses they're building they miss things yeah um like our shower rail we had the shower rail yeah our shower rail our they oven missed it. The oven was wrong. The oven was wrong. We, we didn't, didn't even realise realize for months. No, so we had no idea. So check all everything, so like everything you see, just make, make sure, sure it's what you ordered yeah. from your cupboard doors, your oven. As silly as that sounds as well, like I know for a fact a lot of people watching our video would have been like, how the hell did you not know that you didn't have a fan oven? We just didn't. We just like never we just never looked. We we just were like, oh, this is what it must be like. Until we just it was a months oven. down the line, we were like, no, how on like... things cooking properly and just make sure everything that you've been told you'd get, you've got. Yeah. We had a wrong cupboard door in the beginning. Like that, the more yeah. we actually, the, this question, right? The more I actually think about, the more that we did actually have wrong. Then in my head, the only thing we had wrong was a leak, a leak on the second day. Yeah, but before we moved in. The shower, rail, the shower rail, we which we didn't we want. We signed a yeah. document to say we weren't going to have it. We didn't want. So they had to replace tiles because yeah. they drilled into drilled tiles. Drilled into tiles. The shower rail patched up. the top up of they the ceiling the again because they drilled into that. Um, we had the leak yeah, from the, the shower. And then, like I say, in the kitchen, the cupboard the door for months was wrong. Uh, yeah. we, we reported that straight away, no, though. No, yeah, that was reported for home demo by the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't even us. He pointed it out before. Yeah, he did. pointed that out. So. And he was just that. don't like don't be scared yeah. as well to say like at the end of the day right the, the way i start looking because i'm to be honest you you might not be able to tell you might but i'm quite a shy and like i don't really want to like be like oh this no. was wrong with me housemate like what you're gonna do about it i i'm not i'm not like that um but i'm a bit better at trying to say so to the moment yeah but it's not that i'm scared it's just like in my head, I was just like, oh, what if it's not wrong? Like, what if I'm just sort of thinking it's wrong and it's not wrong? But just think, like, you've paid a lot of money for your house. Don't, like, don't, if, if you think something's wrong, just ask. Just that's all you can do is ask. And honestly, the site managers we've had have all been friendly. The builders that we've spoke to have all been friendly and helpful. It's, it's honestly, like, not been anywhere near as bad as I've thought. And... It's not like I say, like, I didn't want to sound like an absolute but it's not that I'm like scared to ask them. It's just that for me, it was more I'm scared of being wrong. Like, I don't want to be like, whoa, mate, this is wrong. And then be like, nah, actually, mate, you're wrong. This isn't wrong. But yeah, in terms of like things I, like I, I, extras, there's nothing that I wish we'd got. Like, yeah, sure, like not having a fence for the first, what was it, month we were in was a little bit, but our neighbours are fine, like, they, they, they were fine, there was times that we were both sat outside and just talking about things, wasn't there, and, like, at the yeah, end of the day, I don't think I would have, the only, th I don't know, I'll say I like our cupboards, I was going to say the only thing maybe was the cupboards that are a bit posher that were white, mm. but, nah, like again, it's, but again, that's not even, a necessity, that's just no, out no, of personal just, preference. It's yeah. if you've picked them options, great. If you've not, it's that's not something I could say to you, oh, get that because you might not like that. It would be like me going, oh, get them tops, get these, get them countertops. You have to get them because you might not like that. It's that there for me, stuff like that's that's personal preference, that's what you like or don't like. So, yeah, just. The, the main things just check check everything thoroughly check it's what you've got and what you've been promised you'd get um measure your floor and yourself what like like get the digger when they because she wouldn't let us measure the room i still wouldn't say measure it yourself i would still say get get someone out of fit and that'll measure it well yeah like well, like def i wouldn't say do like i think what you've meant there more than anything is don't go off the plans mm -hmm. Because it it can be different. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't just like me personally. I would. I would definitely still just get someone else to measure them. Don't go off their plans. But yeah, apart from that, I'd, it's just yeah. It is just checking everything thoroughly. Not being like scared to report things. And enjoy it. And enjoy it. Yeah. Like every day is like just think of how lucky you are. Like I know it's like people look at it and go, oh god, I've worked so hard for this and. I know some people that are like, oh, and I'm in debt, and it's like, like technically you are, but how am I? Like, it can be so much worse. Like, y your life could be so much worse. It's like, not a negative, no, negative it's debt. really not. Like, 
like I say, you're saying you're nervous 100% like I was leading up to it. I remember being like, oh God, like, oh, this could, like, I don't know. No, I wasn't having it because I could have gone, I'm having a mortgage with her. It was just like, you saw just, I think as, as a human, you just think the worst is going to happen. Like, oh, I remember when that leak happened and honestly, I was like, that's it, the floor's caving in tomorrow. I was like, oh, I'm going to be sat down here looking at the window and I'm just going to hear a loud bang in the kitchen. Roof's going to have caved in. Like, you just think the worst. But then once you get in, like we stayed that first night... Um, the worst thing about the first night was the food, the takeaway was absolutely stinking. But, yeah, just enjoy it. I think, like, take every day, like I say, I don't know your situation in terms of if you're moving in with a partner, if you're moving in by yourself or, or what, but just enjoy it. Like, honestly, just, mm. it's, it's just, it really is a bit of a blessing, like, as, as sort of silly as it sounds. It just is, like, the way I look at it is your life could be so much worse. Like, it really could. But... And you've picked the best house type, so... Yeah, that's Katie's opinion, not mine. But it kind of is mine, because... I think we bought this one. So. Yeah, we bought this one. The only other one that I really like is the four bedroom ones, but... Far too expensive. Yeah, far too expensive. So, yeah, like I say, if you have any other questions, I think we did do a video quite a while back on the, like, one month in, and, like, what we sort of missed, what we wish we knew and stuff. That might be a little bit better, because obviously that's a bit more back then, but... In terms of that, yeah, like what to look out for, it's, it is just, the main thing for us was sockets. I think everything else is just save. That's the biggest bit of advice, just save. Save a lot of money. More you might not, you yeah, money. you might not even know what you're saving for. You might be sitting there with 10 grand in the bank, right, and be like, I'm fine. I mean, I wish that was us, but we would, I would still be like, save. Because you'll get in and before you know it, it's gone, uh, you know, a couple of grand for your flooring, someone to fit it, grand, your garden. For me, I think your garden would depend on the size of it. <laughs> that would eat into quite a lot of it and depend on what you want. And again, that's that's all personal preference, what you want to choose. Like you, like you say, you might have 10 grand, but you might want 75-inch telly, massive, like, just the most expensive stuff. But... Yeah, just save. I think just make sure you just save and save and save. And yeah, everything else I've already said, I'm not going to just start repeating it. But yeah, just in, I think in the, if I had to say three things, it would be enjoy it, save. Oh, I don't know what I could say for the third one, to be honest. Don't be afraid to report. Yeah, just like don't be, don't be scared to ask questions basically about anything. That would be the three things. Enjoy it, save, and just don't be scared to ask them questions. Like say we're super blessed because of the site managers that we've had to deal with have been and the great. Advisor. And the sales advisor that we dealt with in the beginning was great. Sad that she's moved on personally because me and Katie really got on with her and she was really helpful with everything even after we moved in and we asked about if Gleason could do the fence for us and we had a chat and she was like oh they couldn't but this is who does them if you want to give them a message they still couldn't but yeah if you have any like if you unsure on anything I've said just again leave leave a comment down below and I will try and elaborate this was very much just off the head like we've just getting in like I say it's it was 10 to 12 when I started, it's now 10 past 12. It was just very much off the head. Like I looked at the question and just went with what we, what I thought. But that was just, that really was just our experience. I'm not saying we're right or we're, or we're wrong or if everything we're saying you should do. It, that's just my experience and mine and Katie's experience, sorry. And like the things that I wish we'd done. Not that we didn't save either, but just... No. You, you always you need more. Yeah, yeah, you don't. You sort of think, oh, like that's fine. Like we thought fine. we had a good amount, and then it was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like I say, like all this in here, you know, like everything just costs. Like the, like I say, the telly, the the blinds. The blinds. God, the blinds. They are. Jesus Christ! I remember seeing the price of them blinds and being like, oh. We've been in for almost seven months and we've only bought we've only two, three blinds. Three blinds. And it's, it's because it's like you get your main ones and you're like, I don't really, really want one for that. 
But yeah, it's just like, don't worry about things like that. Like, honestly, don't. Like, I've I've documented this whole, se like, this series of, like, my life on the internet. And it's like, I get asked a lot, like, oh, what planes are you getting in there? And, like, yeah, sure, it's a lot of the things, like, we do want to get. But just, again, that's where saving the money can help. And as well, don't, like, think, oh, I want me blind so I can't get, like, that that unit there and I can't get like stuff like this because that's a like, part of joining in with don't take every room like don't just go oh, I'm gonna go room by room because otherwise some rooms will just be bare and then you're left with like like if we just went with the kitchen first and went with the blinds and stuff like like you say this room would have just been quite bare and you do want to try and make your house become your home as quick as and when I'm sat in this living room plonked right on that sofa in that seat right there watching the football on the telly I I don't I feel like I'm right at home so yeah don't I think like don't listen to other people's opinions as well like just do what you think feels right is the probably is the biggest thing just do what you feels right ultimately I think that's but that's pretty much it I know I've waffled for 20 minutes here which is just crazy but yeah like I say if you want us to go over anything else in the comments just ask ask away i'm um, honestly but again i am just gonna say like these are just like my thoughts opinions it's not necessarily the the right or the wrong thing it's just like mine and katie's experience of what we were moved in and we were asked sort of that sort of thing and as well if anyone watching this who hasn't asked that question comment down below like your your experiences and what you think is like good like a heads up or, or stuff like that definitely get down below and because I think a lot of people are in these situations with houses and yeah I'm going to stop talking now because I am ready for bed and like I say this was all just off the top of my head if I'm watching this back tomorrow and I think of anything I will probably pop it in the next video and the videos after and yeah apart from that guys that's going to be the end of the video so if you have enjoyed remember to like subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you tomorrow